What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about Scream 6 in this video here today. Talking about several major things that have come out according to viewer and on. Some major things anyway. They're major to me. In terms of uh, stuff to expect in Scream 6. Knowing the title. The trailer is ready. Um and stuff about kirby those are the three major things we'll be talking about but viewer not put out a tweet early this morning responding to the stuff related to clips and this other stuff that he's been told about as we know i did a video on that yesterday related to a, a potential bodega attack uh in the movie so he said in this tweet full disclosure about a week ago i was contacted by someone who claimed to have an in-depth plot synopsis of scream 6 this was an untested source whose info while detained while detailed did not match things i had heard previously whereas my info did match uh clips and again viewer not did not get their information from clips so they continued honestly because i had vouched for it i wanted clips info to be correct it would mean my sources going back to screen five were still solid but there was no way to know who was telling the truth through another source i was lucky enough to view a rough version of scream 6's trailer and the footage matched the new source description down to Kirby's role and Gail phone phone dialogue with the killer. So the other thing that that was mentioned, I guess I forgot to say is very important that we now know of is some potential dialogue for Gail's phone call. So she apparently is going to have a line where she's like, you know, you're like the 10th. She says, you know, you're like the 10th person to try this. Right. Sounds very Gail esque. Sounds as uh arrogant and just over overly confident as you would expect from gail weathers although her confidence is somewhat warranted these days especially in screen one when she was coming at sydney over cotton <laughs> and then he continued on in this thread but there is a kicker while previous sources swore the title was scream with two exclamation points the new source had been adamant it was in fact scream vi of course that's a roman numeral for six and the title card on the trailer that i viewed it said Scream VI. So the official title seems like it's, just, it's going to be Scream 6 with Roman numerals. Now I see some people already have a gripe with that and I can understand where you're coming from. P my preference if they're going with that would be of course outlining the V and the I and the M. You can just simply have the Scream logo come up and then similar to how the the A turned into a four in the, in the Scraform opening credits, have the M half of it turned red during the dip in the m and then the last last dip down that's your i vi <laughs> for six i don't think you should have it separately uh, from the screen really i think i think that title would just come off a little cheesy to some people but all in all i don't really care i want a good movie you can call it scream forever if you want to i think actually that was the original title for screen five so the title apparently according to what they have seen in this trailer because the trailer is ready is that it will be scream vi so scream with, with the roman numerals for six now it's too much he continued on to say it's too much evidence to ignore clips is lying my previous sources were either misled or actually trying to throw me off track so i'm sorry for my partner spreading misinformation and then here's the final thing anyway if you made it this far down kirby is now an fbi agent now the fbi agent thing that's the other stuff i know people are like oh that's kind of far-fetched that's a little bit random i will say it's random but here's why it's random keep in mind we haven't heard from kirby didn't know her fate for over a decade that's why seeing her in a career path is random the last thing we saw her was potentially ending up in a body bag <laughs> and that's that's all so that's why that feels random to you the way this would no longer feel random is with context reading this on twitter from viewer anon that is going to sound random because the context we currently have is kirby reed appearing appearing on the ground with a pool of blood spilling out while she's still moving and now this tweet saying she's now an active fbi agent so that's some that's a quick turnaround there we haven't seen anything in between that's why that feels random you haven't heard anything about her career hopes you haven't heard anything about what she's been through over the past few years nothing we have zilch all we know is that at one point she was on the ground in a pool of blood now 10 years 12 years later 11 years later she's working with the fbi <laughs> who does not just handle any ordinary case mind you so if the fbi is getting involved i'm now thinking well 
if Kirby's role in this movie is related to the FBI, maybe that's why she was wearing a wig to some, why, maybe maybe she was wearing a wig because maybe it wasn't when we saw her on set hating that bean. Some people thought she was wearing a wig. Let's say she was wearing a wig. If it's related to this FBI role, maybe she was undercover for something, trying to catch Ghostface and somebody else ends up dying while they're trying to catch the killer. That could be something that plays out. And maybe this is a safe way for them to keep Kirby alive and keep her safe. Maybe her role in the movie is only brought on from the fact that the FBI gets called in and they have somebody who's actively survived a Woodsboro murder. So they put her on the case. And maybe Kirby joined the FBI because maybe, she, again, this could be, you can get context about why she joined during her scenes. She could explain that over the years, she found herself like Sidney Prescott, isolating herself, living with that PTSD. But then once she overcame that and came to grips with who her best friend was and who the boy she wanted to give a chance turned out to be, she realized that she can either wallow in this or she can pick herself up and let her past be her motivator be her motivator for the future and she's chosen a career path where she can help other people that might find themselves as victims or just help stop other people from being victims of serial killers out there or mass murderers in general by just putting help solving cases and putting them behind bars that is the context that she can easily give in a sequence we have with her but i think her being an fbi agent right now it seems random because there isn't a lot of context as to what she's been through since the last time we saw her when she was just lying in a pool of blood left for dead <laughs> and then nothing heard of for the past 10 years the fbi route could work her overall involvement with the fbi i think could easily be explained with a simple bit of dialogue and i think this is a safe way for them to keep kirby alive if they want to do that like if she doesn't have anything major going on in the story because again she's not going to be a focus point the focus point is going to be the carpenters as it should be those are the characters you've introduced if we catch up with kirby she's either going to be kept safe from her fbi status or her fbi status will ultimately get her killed i think that they're using this though as a way to keep her around for a potential sequel but we'll see how it plays out because obviously i'm making assumptions without context either so my prediction is that kirby will end up living in this movie her fbi role would just simply be a way for her to get involved in the killings they'll call her up her or her branch up and it's all just conveniently falling in line in terms of the time coincidences it's not something she was waiting for just coincidentally kirby was called on to help with this with this new ghostface killing spree that's what her branch was called in to do it's in new york they're on the case and that's where kirby will show up and that's where we'll re that's where we'll meet her i have a feeling she won't even show until midway through the movie now at this point but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video